Hey guys, Mop Piper here. <clears throat> Going out for a little uh, Sunday rainy drive because I don't have an enclosure on my back porch yet. Tax return season. <laughs> and uh, when it's raining, this is the only chance I get to actually get out and smoke because I'm not allowed to smoke in the house. So, I'm in the car. Tooching on my Bell Star mod. I really love this one because it's almost like a Bones where I'm slowly but surely watching this bamboo turn darker. And it's just, to me, it's just so beautiful looking. It's so sturdy. got some GLP's navigator in it. Now I'm loving this. I haven't been able to smoke since yesterday afternoon. So this is the first smoke of the day. And uh, the flavors are really hitting the spot. I'm really enjoying it. So anyway, uh, just a few things. Um, one, I just wanted to make a video because I was bored. Figured out uh, why not drive in uh, chat with you guys. But two, um, I think it's called the New York uh, Pipe Show, but it's actually being held in Newark, New Jersey. It's coming up March 10th. I saw a video that Kane Rod Piper did saying how he wanted to meet up with people in the area and stuff like that up there. And I watched the video and I was kind of like, eh, I wasn't really going to give it too much thought. But uh, the Great American Dock Piper, or Great Mar yeah, I think the Great American Dock Piper, he um, met some meal boxer. If you don't know him, go check him out. Um, great guy. Uh, he actually lives around me. We actually met up at a cigar uh, shop, and we were, we were able to sit down and you know, hang out for about an hour and get to know each other a little bit. But he, uh, he messaged me yesterday on Boxer and uh, said that he was planning on going up and he wanted to know if I wanted to go. Uh, so I talked to my wife and I'm definitely going to be going. March 10th. Uh, I still got to tell him that I'm allowed to go, but uh, my wife said it's fine. It's on a Saturday. She's off for the kids. So... If you're one of those people in the YTPC that's in this area and are going, you know, let let me know so uh, I know to look for you and I can uh, kind of get in to get to know each other a little bit. Uh, I'm loving these meet and greets. I can't wait to go out to Boswell and uh, meet up with uh, Uncle Butter and Ghost Cop and uh, hopefully Scotty Piper. But uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm really enjoying this. Nothing new going on. Um, I have a new tobacco coming in tomorrow and a new pipe. Bought another pipe from that uh, Neil Monier garage made pipe tool. So I'm really excited to get that in tomorrow. I'm still like 75% of the time, cops are my the way to go, just because they're easy. Uh, you don't have to worry about them being dinged up as much. And if you do ding them up, who cares? 
but uh I'm really starting to learn and love the appreciation of the briar. Uh, I think one of the reasons, and this is probably a little bit more for the new people who just start smoking, but if you're a new smoker, <laughs> go slow. Go easy on the briar pipes. I think that was what turned me off to it, is I smoked so fast and I smoked aromatics. 10, 50 minutes in, that sucker was gurgling like crazy. And I had no idea what to do rather than just run the pipe cleaner through it multiple times throughout my smoke. And I instantly just got turned off to it, got rid of all the briars I had, which were cheap briars. It wasn't like it was like a big deal, but. With the corn cobs, now that I've learned to take my time, sip on the pipe a little bit, moved away from aromatics I went back to the the briar and now it's it's a thing of beauty I loved it I was able to smoke that one briar for 50 minutes no gurgling whatsoever so anyway that's just uh just my advice to you um other than that uh I'm gonna let you guys go I'm gonna enjoy my pipe on my all right, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.